So, I'm don't know if I'm Alex. He's lied for the last time. He's done this so many times before. He did the exact same thing in the zap tie. And the sad thing is, no, a lot of people didn't even know about this because it happened a few years back. But this is similar to basically all the drama he's tried to start again. And of course, he did the whole th same thing to James Charles and Slazo. And honestly, it's the same thing over and over again, lying about so-called friends or anyone, to be honest. So I'm just going to show you my original reaction. And but before that, of course, I want to tell you how I learned about it. So I learned about it from Comment Cop. And obviously, I'm going to show you the original comment, obviously. So it's basically him saying how it's inappropriate for someone to dance to an inappropriate song, which it was an inappropriate song, at the age of 15. And then she, Carly, of course, said, oh, I'm just trying to have fun. Someone who, uh, coming from someone who's 15 themselves, me, well, I'm almost 15, but whatever. Yes, you should not be doing this. And now people are literally trying to get him banned for telling someone to not be inappropriate. That is absolutely ridiculous. And there's, of course, one person to blame. I'm Alex. Personally, can Perez Hilton be creepy sometimes? Yes, but honestly, it's, it's okay. Like, he's not a bad person and he doesn't deserve the hate that he's getting just because a big YouTuber told him so. I'm genuinely disgusted on I'm Alex here. Like, he tries to destroy people because he knows he can. And the thing is, his friends aren't hold holding him accountable. Like, honestly, I won't be surprised if he turns against them by next year. Because the kind of destructive person he is, destroying anyone in his way. Uh, he's honestly a disgusting person on the internet. And honestly, I'm surprised he hasn't got any, like, you know, cr people going against him about this. So basically, this is my you know, response, original response. I'm done. I'm unsubscribing. You've destroyed so many people for no reason. This is disgusting. And I later um, added, I can't find it, but I added, um, you've done this for, to so many people. And honestly, I thought you changed. I was subscribed to you a year ago and I, I unsubscribed to you from the Slazo, but I thought you changed. But you haven't. The fact that you haven't is absolutely disgusting. I'm just going to show, show you some, you, you know, um, responses to my original comment. And honestly, they're like, right. <laughs> like, apparently people understand that. He most likely will backstab all of his friends. Like, I don't understand how they could just trust him so much. Because, like, most of the, like... Willany and Mimi Little are genuinely good people, and I don't know how they could fall for this kind of stuff. Now I'm just gonna get into, you know, some clips from I'm Alex's video, which honestly is not a good video. Like, I usually find his content actually pretty funny, but generally it's not good. Like, you should have deleted it already, not good. Parents should be ashamed. And yeah, there's weird stuff posted on TikTok, but wearing a bathing suit that's what that's what people wear to the beach. If you go to a beach, you'll probably see loads of people of all ages wearing a bathing suit. He he completely ignored all of his point. His one point, actually. He just said that the song was inappropriate and a fifteen year old should not be dancing to it, which is exactly true. But he's trying to say that, oh, he was se sexualizing her. No, she was doing it to herself. And the fact that you even thought that is ridiculous. Like, it just goes to show you're just trying to get clicks and views. Like, honestly, you, like, like you're like, oh, he, he, if you go to the beach, you see bathing chips. No, duh. But that wasn't his point. His point was that you shouldn't be dancing like that. Just because she's dancing... On, on TikTok, which is what people do on that app. And I know some of the song choices may be a bit out there. But that's music. That's like all pop music nowadays. It's all like that. And it's been like that forever. You, it gets played at kids' birthday parties and stuff. Once again, he completely dodged the question. And also, no, not all music's like that. Simply put, that it, that is false. Most music is honestly clean, other than curse words. But literally, you're lying. And... He has a valid point that, no, she really shouldn't be dancing to that.
You see, the difference there is those are two fully grown male. He is, in fact, gay, so you have no room to say how it's similar to this because, and it's clearly made as a joke while, um, Charlie, or whatever how you say her name, I think it's Charlie, she literally was doing an inappropriate dance, and yes, she should not have done that, and, like, she has a right to, but, like, you can't be surprised when people call you out saying how you shouldn't do it. You know, he's, she's just gone to the beach. And now he's exposing him for being, like, a, a, a criminal? Once again, he's not judging her for going to the beach. He's, he simply said she shouldn't be dancing to an inappropriate song, which she shouldn't be. And you're now saying how... Oh, he's trying to expose her. No, I I believe it was her father because he said how Democrats cause drunk accidents or whatever, which has nothing to do with the situation. Like, he shouldn't have brought it up, but, like, neither should have you. Tea time! Look, instead of starting it with tea time, maybe you should look after your own kids um, and serve them their dinner instead of going on TikTok and making videos about other children. Oh, uh, yes, Yes, of course, because you absolutely know how to raise kids, and you should be telling a man how to raise his. Charlie D'Amelio. And yes, I'm obsessed over a 15-year-old girl. <laughs> Is that upset you? Does that weird you out? Well, I'm unlucky. I'm going to keep on doing it. Because that's what somebody would do, wouldn't they? You know, if a police go, oh, mate, um, maybe you shouldn't hang around schools. You don't go, hey, back at the school again. You stay away. Uh, yes, because because he made a video on a, an underage person, he's obsessed and he's a pedophile. Obviously, it's not like you've made six video like over so many videos about underage females. You have no room to talk. And it was about him because because people started yelling at him for saying, hey, don't dance inappropriately. So you act like it has nothing to do with him, yet you make videos about underage females that have nothing to do with you. That's absolutely ridiculous and hypocritical. As some of you know, Charlie posted a video of herself dancing to that song, I can't take Big D, but I'll suck on it. And she was gyrating, moving in a very sexual adult way. She was dancing. Don't say, don't say that. Why shouldn't you say that? That, that that's literally exactly what she was doing. It was definitely more than dancing. She that's really exactly what she was doing. Like you can't just say, you can't say that because. Because what she she that's really exactly what she was doing. Sexy or not? Maybe that's not something that people should be doing. I mean, he has his face. Like like like. like. Oh, I'm Paris Hilton. I've served you some hot tea. So at this point, you're just making fun of him for the way he looks. Like. How does that at all have to do with what you're talking about? You, you literally are having to scrape from the bottom of the barrel so badly here. So, like, I won't really go any further into his video, but, like, he basically goes on saying how him um, duetting full-grown adult males is inappropriate. For How? How? It clearly is seen as a joke, and as long as both of the parties are overage, I don't see what the pr issue is here. Stop complaining. Stop being such a whiny baby, like you always are. Generally, Alex, you suck so much. Why can't you be a decent human being for once? Like, for the Slazos generation, you didn't even bother to apologize. Like, I find it so amazing how little you care about anyone but yourself. Like, how? I thought you could have changed over a course of one year. But, of course, just like Zaptai, just like... Ooh, I got a com I Someone just liked the, the, the original comment. Uh, b back to the topic. You, you decided to take down Zaptai. You tried to take down... Slazo, you tried to take down James Charles, and now you're trying to do the same thing to Perez Hilton. It's not going to work. Stop being a whiny piece of crap and do something good, productive for once. Funny enough, Perez Hilton is the one who told me that I should make the video. <laughs> 
uh, editing creeper and i just want to say perez hilton says you can attack him in the con comments it just makes him more powerful or whatever <laughs> whatever you say man